Hey guys! So today I want to talk to you about a thing called Switcher. So um, I'm sorry that uh, the product uh, says, the box says uh, most of the things on Hebrew. Currently this product is available uh, only here in Israel, but as I understood in the future, somewhere in the future it should be available globally as well. At least uh, that's what I understood, I hope I am correct. So um, what uh, is this thing about? Uh, in this country and in many others that I know, uh, in order to get hot water in your house, you uh, need to use a boiler. So basically a boiler is just uh, a kettle, a pot, but a big one that most of the time sits somewhere on the roof or um, I saw some houses that uh, it's somewhere in a special place uh, from outside the house. Uh, anyway, uh, it's a big tank of water uh, and um, in the summer uh, it uses uh, the sun uh, powers uh, which means it has a solar panel uh, somewhere connected to it. Again, if it's on the roof uh, it's close to it, if it's uh, somewhere inside the house so there's a solar panel outside somewhere. Uh, not every house uh, has a solar panel but basically this boiler uh, works from solar panel in the summer, in case you need uh, hot water. And um, uh, in the winter, in order to have uh, uh, hot water, uh, you can start the electric uh, boiler. Which means uh, it's the same boiler, just have uh, uh, the electronics to boil the water, uh, so you'll have hot water. So you just uh, uh, run it uh, as well. So. Um, so, um, now, uh, in my case, uh, in winter, um, when I wanted uh, to wake up early to work, uh, or something like that, and I wanted to wash my hands, to brush teeth, and, uh, you know, things uh, like that, uh, I wanted uh, hot water. Now, basically, sometimes it's uh, really cold here, at least in the mornings. Yeah, I know, some people might laugh, because uh, Israel is a pretty hot country, but uh, for someone who lives here, in the winter it uh, might get cold. Uh, so basically what I uh, was doing, at least uh, this year, uh, I was waking up uh, for about a half hour earlier, just uh, starting the boiler and then trying to go to sleep for another half an hour uh, until the time to, uh, to wake up uh, comes and then I would have some hot water. Um, now, uh, it wasn't that comfortable, it's uh, about uh, half an hour less to sleep every night and totally sucks. Uh, other cases that, um, at least the website of Switcher shows, is people that uh, are going back home from work and they want to shower whenever they get home and uh, in order to do that they need hot water so they need to come home uh, start the boiler, wait for it uh, to be ready, and then hey, they can shower with hot water, or they need to call someone that is at home, and hopefully he won't forget to stand up uh, and turn on the boiler. So, um, this thing, the switcher, is the solution to all those problems. Yeah, finally, finally, finally. Now, um, this thing, as you can see, uh, it shows a phone on the box. Now, basically, the switcher is just a regular, I would say, cool-looking switch. You can see it here uh, in small. I'm not sure that you can see it pretty well. Um, yeah, I think it won't be able to focus such close. But basically, it looks pretty cool. Um, pretty clear uh, white um, box. Uh, it's a nice looking switch I would say, um, but what it does is, uh, except that you can uh, start it with uh, just pressing on it uh, regularly, uh, starting and stopping uh, the boiler, uh, you can uh, press and hold and uh, each second that you add it's an hour 15 minutes, so from 15, half an hour, 45 minutes and an hour, you can choose for how long you start the boiler, but the coolest thing here, uh, the purpose of the switch I would say, it that it connects to the internet, which means it turns your boiler to a smart boiler, or s let's, call it, let's call it like that. Um, basically you can uh, download their app, uh, which is available to the App Store uh, on Apple and to the Google Play Store on Android. 
uh, you just download the app you connect the switcher uh, with it to the home Wi-Fi uh, and then you can uh, control your switcher from your phone so in case you are uh, going uh, home from work and you want to shower whenever you get home you can just go ahead start the app from uh, your phone uh, turn on for however you need uh, the switcher and immediately it will turn on the boiler at home and everything will be ready whenever you come home uh, another thing is uh, you can schedule uh, which is the best option for me so as I said I was uh, waking up uh, half hour earlier every morning uh, and not always it's the same hour which is the best part of it um, so with this uh, switcher I could just schedule the switcher to go on uh, whenever I need it and whenever I just get up uh, in the time I need to get up the boiler will be already ready for me and uh, I would have hot water I already tried it a few times it's really great uh, I have only downside but that's uh, because how uh, the network is in my house the router is pretty far away from the switcher so uh, I have some connectivity issues uh, from time to time but uh, I think it got better since I moved the router a little bit and now uh, it works uh, pretty well so um, basically I can show you the app on my phone for example um, just go to the switcher uh, now uh, as I've seen it looks pretty the same on the iPhone but uh, basically uh, as you can see Whenever you start uh, the program, it can show you how long uh, will the boiler run. You can press here in the middle and it uh, started. Now it's currently started in the kitchen uh, and let's turn it off for a moment. And you can uh, uh, start it for some time that you want, for example 15 minutes. And you can see that it started uh, going. And let's turn it off for now. So uh, it works immediately. Uh, it can show you the history. Now here's one thing uh, to note that whenever your internet is down or uh, there is no connectivity, history won't be recorded. That sucks. Yeah, I know. But uh, that's the way it is. Now um, another feature as I said, the schedule. So as you can see at Thursday I need to, uh, I need to get up at 6.40 basically uh, so I ran for half an hour at 6.10 uh, a.m. the switcher basically you can turn on and off uh, schedules, you can have multiple schedules um, by days or whatsoever and if you turn off all the days and click save it will just disappear, go away that's uh, how uh, you remove uh, a scheduled task now uh, as I said internet connection might go away now I already checked it uh, with the company if the internet connection goes away the switcher still remembers the last uh, the next sorry the next two uh, schedules that you scheduled so uh, which is uh, very good for me because for the night I turn off my router so in the morning uh, the switcher will still work uh, as I scheduled and uh, it will be ready although there is no internet connection another thing is a uh, stop option so uh, automatic shutdown, uh, you know, sometimes you can uh, click just uh, start and instead of forgetting about it and it will run forever <laughs> until you uh, see it, uh, you can uh, turn an automatic shutdown for a maximum of uh, amount of time that you would like uh, it to work. So I set it to uh, one, and a, uh, one and a half hour and uh, if I'll try to run it for more than that it will just turn it off automatically um, now in the settings you won't see almost uh, anything uh, another thing to note is that you actually can connect multiple devices to the same switcher uh, for example uh, if another member of the house has another Android phone or an iPhone uh, you just need to log on with the same credentials. This is the downside, you have to log on with the same credentials uh, and then you are uh, ready to go, you can both control the switcher and uh, see the history and uh, all, the, all the stuff. Um, so uh, yeah, this is a cool thing now. I'll try uh, in a moment uh, moving to the kitchen uh, somehow uh, 
starting, standing tripod there. I'm not sure how I'll do it because uh, when I installed it, yeah, uh, now uh, another thing to note is I already installed the switcher. Uh, I wanted to take a video of it, but I couldn't because uh, it was a mess and anyway my computer was dead, so uh, I had no place to save all the videos. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll try to do that now and show you how it works uh, in real uh, time with the phone. Hopefully there won't be any connection issues at the moment. Um, now basically in order to connect the switcher you connect it almost uh, the same as uh, any switch uh, that goes to the boiler. Uh, it works on... I'm not sure, I think it has a picture in there. You can see a small manual here. Currently, as I said, it's on Hebrew, but uh, I think it will be in the future available uh, on English as well. Uh, you can see that it can replace any regular switch. It is uh, suitable for any old or new house. Uh, regularly... Um, I'm trying to find um, if there is a good picture for the connectors or not. Uh, you can find also a video on how to install it and use it and configure it and everything uh, on their website, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, basically, it shows some pictures how you uh, configure it and stuff, but it doesn't show you the uh, connection. Anyway, uh, it goes almost uh, the same as a regular switch. There are four uh, electrical cables. Now, one thing to note. If you are not an electrician, if you do not how to do this, uh, and um, if your country uh, says that it's a must in uh, the law that an electrician will be present or only electrician should uh, work with electricity in your house. So keep in mind, do not do what you are not supposed to do, what you do not know. Um, and anyway, no matter what, safety comes first, so please turn off the electricity at your house uh, or at least to the switch uh, so you won't uh, cause any damage to yourself or to the switch or to your boiler. So basically uh, most of uh, houses uh, at least here have uh, four connectors on the um, uh, plug where you plug the switch. Uh, two connectors go uh, to your house from your boiler. Uh, one is line, one is uh, zero or neutral I think it's called in English and uh, two same goes from your uh, electrical company from wherever it goes in your house from the electrical circuit whatever uh, so uh, on the back of the switcher you'll just have uh, four connectors uh, two for the boiler uh, one is line and one is neutral and two uh, for the connectors to the electricity itself basically that's it you don't have to do anything else uh, now I'll move to the kitchen and try to show you uh, everything uh, at live. Uh, just one thing to note, I'm sorry about the mess there. I just hope uh, you will uh, concentrate on the switcher and not anything uh, around it because it's a mess there. So sorry for that. Uh, well, let's see. So here's the switcher. Again, as I said, I'm sorry for all the mess. It looks uh, pretty messy here. Sorry for that. Now, as you can see, there's a blue dot here, which indicates that uh, it is connected to the Wi-Fi. Um, now, uh, here's the app. Now, uh, look what I do. I just press uh, in the middle to launch it. And as you can see, it is started on the switcher. It shows the same icon as here. Now, if I want it for 15 minutes, for example, I just go here to 50 minutes, for example. And you can see it there as well, it goes the same to half an hour, 45 or whatever uh, is needed. Let's turn it off for a moment. Um, and as you can see, it turned off. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, now another downside I would say that in case that uh, this company is closed, you will be left with uh, a regular cool looking switch. It is still cool, but, you know, there's nothing to do with that. Um, if your connection goes down, as I said, you are not able to control it while the connection is down, uh, only manually. Uh, yeah, as I said, you can just press on it and, uh, same effect, you can turn it on, sorry, turn it on for 15, for uh, half an hour, 45 hour, 
and uh, the same you can uh, shut it down sorry that's it um, so yeah this is how it goes uh, if uh, your connection goes up again it will take about three minutes uh, each three minutes it will try to reconnect so um, that's not uh, not something to panic but uh, just to let you know uh, anyway it's a very cool switch it's not that cheap it costs uh, I think in US dollars it will be around 100 uh, US dollars something like that but uh, it's really worth it um, at least in my case and if you move to another house again as I said it's uh, almost as a regular switch you just disconnect it and connect it uh, in your next house so uh, yeah that's uh, a really cool uh, thing uh, you can move it uh, to another house if needed and it will just keep working um, Wi-Fi connection as I said uh, done only if for the first time with your phone you just uh, register or log in with your uh, current account uh, it will uh, ask you for your uh, Wi-Fi password on your phone you just enter it click on it and after a few seconds it will uh, ah yeah it will uh, ask you to press and hold the button uh, where the blue dot if there's a button uh, there as well you just press and hold it for five seconds or so it will start blinking and then you just connect it uh, and after a few moments it will just uh, go to the switch up as regular and you can start using it uh, you can reconnect it uh, again if needed uh, you will just have to log out from the app and log in again in case you change something on your Wi-Fi another thing to note is um, for example I have uh, Mac filtering on my router so uh, I had to turn it off because uh, on the switcher box there was no indication for a Mac address uh, switcher company that's a downside for you that's a big downside because uh, you must put the MAC address somewhere on the box inside I don't know just put it somewhere because that's a real trouble if you have MAC filtering in your house you have to disable it uh, in order to connect uh, something like that uh, if you don't know the MAC address so uh, that's it guys um, hope you liked uh, this video thumbs up if you did thumbs down if you didn't uh, as always, subscribe to my channel, uh, don't forget to check the chat box to receive updates uh, on the channel and share it with your friends so they will know all those cool things uh, in the future as well. And see you next time, bye!